first one. I'm a big fan of TNT cannons. Anytime that you can launch something very far and very fast, some usually something that does a lot of damage, that sounds like fun to me. So I decided to go ahead and build something that does all of those things. This is the new improved TNT cannon. It shoots any entity uh, that can be moved in Minecraft, anything that can fall or drop or uh, do damage. It can propel it very quickly. So let's go ahead and see what it's capable of. I'm going to go ahead and step in here. Now there's a reason I have my F3 up. Watch it. Watch my Y coordinate. 633. That's actually fairly low for this can. I've had upwards of 750 come up on that Y coordinate. This thing shoots you extremely high up. Now, the other thing it does, it doesn't just shoot people up, it also shoots them out. Watch this. If I just simply stand here, look how far that propelled me so quickly. So you can see there's a lot of uses for this. Now the great thing is, this isn't just a creative mode thing. No, no, no. I wouldn't build anything if it wasn't useful in survival. Let's see how much TNT we have left in here? 33? That's plenty. Alright, so if I just stand here, this is survival, mind you. Go very far, very fast. Let's turn on my game sounds real quick. So you guys can hear what's going on. Um, I was kind of turning them off because the TNT can get pretty loud. Um, but if I just, I think, I, I think I've already adjusted the setting. Okay. Um, so you can see how far it pulls me. Um, and it also, it will also do this with TNT. Watch this. I'll, I'll do one to start off with. Alright, and now there were four craters out there. No telling where the other one went. Let's go back into game mode. One. Okay. There were four craters and it may have gone into any one of them. Anywhere we see, is there a new blocks? Yes, there are. That's actually, n I think, a new crater, maybe. So you can see how far and how fast it moved that TNT, and that it still exploded when it got here. Uh, the problems that people have had with TNT in the past is that they don't, ex they they explode in midair before they get to their target or that they go too high and not far enough out, or that they go too slowly. All of those problems eliminated with this particular TNT cannon. Now, I'm going to explain to you the reasons why all of this works so well. It's a feature with dispensers that I don't feel like has been utilized nearly well enough. So I'm going to show you guys how this works. You see here we have three towers of dispensers. These three, dispens these three towers of dispensers are all filled we're all filled with TNT. Um, all you have to do really is have this power button have a line to a repeater like this. And you can do this a, a couple of different ways depending on what your time, or your space and time constraints are. Uh, how resource friendly you want to make this. So uh, you could do this with 3, 4, 7, 8. Um, that will work. You simply connect it up here. Uh, make sure that it's all connected directly to these dispensers in any way possible. Now, the point of connecting all of it like this, and you want to keep in mind, is that there cannot be delay. You cannot use extra repeaters uh, to connect it because there will be too much delay, and you'll have things like this happening. Okay? Uh, you don't want that. Um, 
but if you have if you just have the same amount of delay on everything you should get the exact same time on everything and all of the TNT should blow up simultaneously and you'll get a big kaboom and it's gonna be great so how does this work well you have the power button connected to all this redstone directly connected to these uh, dispensers but that should go without saying the rest of it is really TNT physics um, for this one let me go inside and show you guys uh, the way that this is working is that there is a tower, the tower here, and this is the, the redstone design I kind of put with, uh, as long as you have a continuous piece of redstone, it should work, it's a little messy, but it definitely is worth it. The way this works is there is a tube here, and there's an opening at the top. That will shoot me straight up if I'm standing right here. Uh, if I'm standing on top of the TNT, it will shoot me straight up. The lip, however, because of the blast resistance of this block, it, instead of going up, it will go out, and it will go out uh, however fast it was going to go up. So you cut down all of that resistance, all of that arc, by doing that. Now if you wanted to create more arc, you could simply just remove a layer of this, um, of this lip here. But I prefer for things to go far out and far spread, so I do things like this. Um, and this even could go flatter, but I'm not going to do that because that that could be, that could uh, keep things from going uh, the direction I want them to go or the, the kind of distance I want them to go. Um, but you don't have to just shoot one piece of TNT off. Matter of fact, you could do quite a few if you got creative with this, and this is this whole idea is just to give you guys ideas about how to build your own TNT cannon. But you could just, like this, or even if you wanted to go up and stack them up here and have a way to light them all simultaneously and drop them down, you could have, you could have uh, a tower identical to the one here uh, instead of, but instead have these two missing and so all the TNT would drop and you could just shoot tons of TNT out at one time uh, you could have maybe like 20 pieces of TNT shooting at a time and that would be kind of ridiculous and that would do so much damage and it would be totally awesome but I'm just going to show you guys what two pieces of TNT can do and they're gone where did they go? somewhere into the minefield that's over here um, now we're looking for broken blocks or shallow that's pretty shallow so it looks like one of them went here and one of them went into this other crater here I think a lot of them have gone into this little crater here so um, that's that kind of gives you an idea of the distance now this will also shoot anvils which is fantastic because anvils are also capable of doing a lot of damage and people usually don't see them coming uh... so this is the kind of distance you get now i did not shoot this out of the blue one I'm made out of diamonds made this out of the the test one that i show you guys the design with um, now i did put a, i didn't put a lip on it so it it kind of probably shot off pretty high and arched a, a quite a bit and uh... this is the maximum distance we got right here is Six, yeah, 656 is this one in the x-coordinate and I shot it off from let's go 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 and I'll show you guys where it was 656 was where it was and I shot it off at 839 to give you guys some of the distance. So this is just a stupid powerful TNT cannon. Mistakes you want to look out for. Put water. Put two. Two blocks of water. That's important as well. Because if you don't put two blocks of water in front, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, this one here, that's one. And the one in front of it, that's two. Otherwise TNT can land on the block in front of it and blow up everything. And that would be bad. Um, so put water in it, otherwise you get a crater this large, and that's bad. Uh, this is what happens when you delay it too much. 
you notice there's nothing here left. And then this is what happens when you try to ignite TNT and it blows up. Uh, the TNT you're trying to shoot and the TNT blows up after uh, what's the uh, the charge does and that's not good because then you just have an explosion. Uh, but anyway, this is a very useful little tool and I, I love that you can use it in survival. I love that you could probably use it to transport or to I think I'm going to use this on the JAD server to jump into the pool or the giant ocean biome we have um, there. So kind of like a jumping rock thing. Uh, but you can also use this for all sorts of things in survival. If I go into creative mode, and we're going to do this to end the tutorial. If I go into creative mode and I grab some of these. Now before you say... But Jordan, you can't do that. You can't just throw inner pearls at the ground before you hit the ground. I know you can't do that. But this thing shoots you so high up in the air that you can do it long before you hit the ground. So, let's try this. Key is to shoot it off while I'm on my way up. I've not had this problem before, and I've had it twice since I've been doing this tutorial. Alright. Okay. I shot it, and guys, I'm in I'm in survival mode. I'm gonna survive a 600 block fall just like that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have fun building your TNT cannons. Let me know your ideas. Thanks. Like it, subscribe, and bye.